Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new series I'm starting called Newly Unearthed where the goal is to share with you recent research advancements within the wonderful world of geology and paleontology and so to kick off episode one I thought I would talk about Spicomelis afa which is the earliest known example of an ankylosaur. Now ankylosaurs when we think of them, we probably think of something like this. So here we have a traditional model, it's kind of quite general. They're an armoured herbivore, so they're covered in armour. Some had these small little spikes, a club on the tail, that sort of thing. But Spicomelis afa is the earliest example, and much of the theories around ankylosaurs is that they actually developed this complex armour towards the latter stage to fend off fierce predators of the time, such as T-Rexes and that sort of thing. But Spicomelis shows us that actually they had a very complex armour to start with and it simplified over time. The name Spicomelis afa actually translates in Latin to collar of spikes from Africa and that's a literal translation because Spicomelis afa literally has a collar of huge spikes and this is the first ankylosaur that's actually been found in Africa, in particular from Morocco. So it's quite an incredible discovery and hopefully the first of many. And this collar of spikes, we're not talking small spikes, these spikes were about a meter long. So to put that in perspective, we're talking about neck spikes this length. So pretty much the length of my shelf here. That is a single spike coming out of the neck of this ankylosaur. And so it would have had a few of these as well. And the key thing to remember with dinosaurs is we very rarely find a complete skeleton. You know, we've, we're finding fragments. And in the case of Morocco, we're actually very fortunate to have any of these bones because there was flash flooding and it was actually down to a local farmer that salvaged a lot of these pieces and otherwise they would have been washed away. And so, the fact that we have as many as we do have and we can put together this picture of this dinosaur is quite incredible. So this whole story actually began in 2019 when Professor Susan Maidman actually found a fossil seller in Cambridge selling a piece of rib that had these fused spikes to it. And not just one spike, it actually had four spikes fused to it and it was unlike anything that had been seen before. So she knew it was something special. And so she traced down where it had come from and eventually they found the site. But of course, 2019, 2020, the pandemic started. And so everything kind of got delayed a little bit. But in 2023, they went there for a big dig and they actually were able to reveal a lot more bone fragments and piece together the true picture of Spicomelis afa, which is a really kind of spectacular one. And the amazing thing about this story is these fossils weren't taken from Morocco. They stayed where they were found and actually researched there, prepped there, rather than sending them away. And that's the, what the plan is. So the plan is to develop a facility and research facility and train staff around these fossils so that people, if you want to go and see them and research them, you go to Morocco, which I think is an excellent way of kind of developing the subject over there. Because if they've got these, you know, this fossil, they have a lot more and this is just one little piece to the puzzle so it's really exciting to think about what else could come from this site. That being said, one piece did end up in a fossil shop in Cambridge. Now that is an example of the illegal fossil trade, that is a problem pretty much anywhere in the world and even though Morocco signed the UNESCO 1970 convention which is to protect the heritage it's very hard to actually enforce the fossil kind of smuggling that's going on. So it's an ongoing problem and there's a lot kind of going under the radar and being sold into private collections and it's an opportunity to educate people if you are buying these sorts of fossils to understand that a lot of them haven't been studied for scientific purposes yet and they do have value to us as they could be one of a kind. So yes they look amazing in collections but we only have a finite resource of paleontology and so on these kind of really unique specimens we do need to research them and understand them in order to put together this picture because Spicomelis afa actually has now given us a complete rejig of ankylosaur evolution. You know, the theories we did have for ankylosaurs has now actually shifted because of these fossils that have been found. So what was once thought to be armour as a defence mechanism, now it looks like it was simplifying the armour because it actually needed to be more functional. So looking at Spicomelis with these humongous spikes, it actually could be quite kind of almost like impairing the movement of the dinosaur. And so thinking about that, as these more apex predators came into the food chain, perhaps these spikes were actually a disadvantage to the creatures. Not to mention, I did notice on a few blogs recently that 
since this discovery a lot of people are wondering how on earth did these dinosaurs mate with one another and obviously that paints a interesting image in the head but to think about this armored animals such as you know tortoises for example you would have the traditional kind of male uh, well female male on top here's an image just for educational purposes now with armored ankylosaurs the ones we found originally this possibly could have worked but with spikamellus afer the idea of these really long spines it's an interesting one perhaps that mounting wouldn't have worked but there are other positions that perhaps could have done and that brings us to the other idea of perhaps it was sexual dimorphism the males might have had these really long spikes the females may not have and so it could have been that the males with the longer spikes were the ones that the female were choosing and we presume that with ankylosaurs the tails they would have actually fought each other and so they um, perhaps it would have been survival of the fittest and the winner gets the female who knows and that's the beauty of paleontology is we're only seeing a tiny fraction of the true picture and it leaves space for lots of theories and with every fossil discovery that's made kind of adds a little bit more information to it but that's all I got for you guys today thank you so much for watching I do hope you enjoyed the first episode of a new series let me know what you think and if there's any ideas you'd like me to cover in the future I'll put in the description box some interesting links if you would like to know more about Spikamelis Affa and some papers you can read um, just in case you're curious but thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time